Yeah, we're the, still in the area. The gridlock everywhere, and people have been physically prevented from partaking in this trial. Uh, prevented me from entering the courtroom, even to witness uh, the case of the Dunamis Five. They said this is the only court hearing that will take place today. Of course, you can't believe them. It's all a lie. But it does just want those of us who understand how they operate. Now they are pursuing some people. You see, they are pursuing this side, this side. Please, 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 please sit that side. Please sit that side. Please sit that side. Please sit that side. I see them, I see them. I see them. We're covering it. Don't worry. Just they go. They go, they go, they go. Just the water. See us, see us. No, 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 Can we turn back to follow them? Don't worry, just go. I'm probably scared that since I left. They're just chasing people are all around. Uh, anywhere they see any small crowd, and they're chasing people all over the place. Uh, police officers are harassing people who they suspect might have come here for the trial. It's like they were waiting for you to leave so that they can chase out yes, those, of these course, guys. I knew that. That's what <laughs> they were doing. It was my presence there that stopped them yes, from attacking yes, them. Yes. Mm. This is sad that I don't move like this. <laughs> I don't have to this. So this is the federal high court here in Abuja. Police. All kinds of security agencies are here, combined together, chasing people, harassing anyone that they suspect might have come here to witness the trial, uh, only leaving behind the journalists. Uh, and that is what is being witnessed here. I personally was prevented from entering the courtroom to witness the trial when I tried to do that. So it's nothing new they're trying to do today. As you can see, the policemen, all of them are here. DSS, all of them are here. Uh, is you know, harassing people. So we're heading to the other side of town, and just so that you can have a clear picture of uh, what these people are up to. That is the entrance through which they will smuggle Kano out. You can see there. That's the back entrance that they use for. High-profile cases like this, that's where they used to pass me through when I was uh, 
usually brought from the GSS for trial here at the Federal High Court. Mm -hmm. So that's most of the guys. Thank you. Good luck over here, caused by the Nigerian police, the army, civil, civil defense. defense. There's a way here to the other, the back okay. of the court. So it's a uh, town right here. All armed to the teeth because of the trial of uh, one man, Namdukano. Clusters of persons uh, suspected who were in there to come out and the trial of them have been chased all around, you know, giving everybody the, the chance to witness this trial. Harassing and attacking uh, innocent persons, anyone that they see and uh, look like they came to witness the trial. It's, uh, also, the highest level of uh, ethnic profiling that uh, you can witness anywhere in Nigeria is today. Anybody that looks like an equal person, young, is also subject to harassment by security forces here today. Uh, so that's that's where we are. Uh, you can see more policemen at the back of the court, more police and more police. It's Nigeria has uh, completely turned into a police state at this point. So this is uh, the back end of the court. We're just going around and around uh, to show you how militarized this place is today. Uh, this is the day of uh, the trial of Nandi Kano. Wait a bit, there are some people here hanging out and uh, we don't know who they are. Uh, they might be protesters. Massive uh, good luck around the Federal High Court in Abuja and uh, a lot of uh, police activities, a lot of abuse of people who have come here today to witness this trial. They were not allowed to go near the courtroom and police is carrying out assault, harassment uh, of innocent persons uh, or even interested persons who have come here to watch this trial today. So. Uh, so that's where we are. And, uh, anyways, guys, um, we are still uh, trying to navigate the great luck ahead of us uh, regarding Namdi Kano's trial today. Uh, when we came to observe the trial, I was uh, not allowed inside the court premises even though I had a case that I was interested in and uh, but I was prevented from getting to the courts and I stood outside for a pretty long time uh, and now we're still within the premises of the courts observing uh, police activity and other stuff uh, going on here. Nigeria is witnessing full-blown dictatorship. This is uh, full-blown tyranny that we saw on display today. A police officer pointed a gun at us as usual, you know, with the threat to shoot at uh, my car. But of course, we never backed down until we left the place. So we kept, uh, we keep this going and uh, we'll keep you updated as things uh, evolve. Uh, this is a great opportunity to just say hello to some of our loyal fans, supporters, brothers, sisters all over the world. Let's say this is a good afternoon from Abuja. We are witnessing. Is it afternoon or morning? Morning. It's still morning. I'm yeah. sorry. Yes, since a lot has happened today already to make me almost feel like uh, it is uh, afternoon already. So it's still money, and uh, Namdi Kano is one one of uh, within the premises of the Federal High Court in Abuja. 
where the trial is ongoing. A lot of journalists were prevented from covering the events. Uh, this is unprecedented. This never happened before. And when I got there, trying to get uh, into the courtroom, uh, I mean, the court premises, I was uh, disallowed by a police officer. <clears throat> and um, we are still here in Abuja, uh, my time area, and just taking care of the environment in terms of coverage for your own information. As I did promise uh, that I will be, if there's only one person at the court today, it will be me. And uh, I'm still around the court premises. I'm not going to be one of those persons that will back down because somebody feels that uh, he has power over of life and death. And Wari has destroyed this country enough for everybody to be angry at this point. And that moment will come. That moment will come. I told everybody here that this is what we should do, which is the unity of the oppressed. Whether you are Igbo, Yoruba, or Hausa, all the oppressed people in this country must unite uh, and fight oppression fight tyranny, fight corruption that has become the hallmark of uh, the Buhari regime and all the police officers, army officers, DSS officers who see their job as protecting the regime as opposed to protecting Nigerians. So that's that's why this task that we're engaging in is a must. It's a must. It's a must. We must do it not only for ourselves, but for unborn generations.